Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Taurus for the month of March 2024. So, as we start, I'd like to thank everyone who is returning to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who is new to our angelic wisdom community um you know make sure if you are new that um first of all that you subscribe to select the all notification bell like dislike and when you leave your comments make sure that you let us know that you're new okay to the community also this is an exciting month for me as many of you know because this is my birthday month and um, St. Patty's on the 17th. So I am thankful um, to be here, you know, and um, to be doing this with you. Um, it's definitely one of the most uh, fulfilling things um, that I do. And so I am honored to be here another year to share. And so if um, during the course of watching this video, you feel called to have an um, angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com slash services. Um, you, if you'd like to support my channel with a donation, you can uh, select my PayPal me link for Angelic Wisdom. Uh, all of these links are in the description area beneath this video. If you haven't seen the general monthly angel reading for March, I think it's really special. I encourage you um, to share it and to watch it. So let's take a look at the format here. Um, the card in the center will represent a message from the Archangel that you will be working with in this month. And the other cards on either side of it will represent the message from your guardian angel. The card on the left will be from the major arcana, highlighting the big lessons and themes, challenges and influences that might be shaping things behind the scenes or subconsciously. The card on the right is from the minor arcana, and it will um, reveal how the, these energies are showing up in our day-to-day -day awareness and ways to work with them. So let's take a deep breath together and just surrender let go. And be present with the enormous support of loving beings who are surrounding you right now. And they ask you to see a golden orb above your head and to just, with each breath, bring that orb over you. See it expanding first, as large and as wide as you can. Expand it for yourself. And then just bring it down over you until you are completely surrounded in this golden egg. And they, they're they showing me sort of a, a horse, a white horse, a very regal horse, um, and pulling a carriage. And so this gives me this, sort of the sense of the um, chariot card and image, but it's very regal. And the angel number I'm seeing is 105. So it says, as you change your life for the better, you're supported by God's powerful and loving energy. Give any worries to God because your positive thoughts act like angels along the way. Oh, that's really beautiful. As you change your life for the better, you're supported by God's powerful and loving energy. It's very regal energy. Give any worries to God 
because your positive thoughts act like angels along the way. So the, the sense that I'm getting um, for you, Taurus, is that you can really move forward or you are um, very determined or that you can align yourself or trust that whatever you are intentional about is going to receive a lot of regal support behind it. Meaning the universe is going to put all of its resources behind orchestrating um, outcomes of alignment so that you can so you can recognize what it is with clarity. And then it gives you the choice to take the helm and run with it. Or, you know, so to, basically, if you want something to happen, it can happen. They're gonna make it as clear to you as possible. You have to trust that you are clear about what you want and be positive about it because that just sends angels out in front of you your faith your clarity so you know be aware of playing the doubt game like saying i don't know all right it's one of the things like we we i don't know because that just sort of plummets our courage, our confidence, our faith. So don't say, I don't know. You might, you know, if because fear is one thing. I mean, if you don't know, you don't know. And you won't waste any time thinking about it. But when you feel something, when you feel a connection to something, and then you say, I don't know, that's exercising fear and worry and all kinds of like obstruction. You're creating it because you're st feeling strongly, but it's fear. And any strong feelings are powerful. They're potent. So when you don't know, you usually don't have a connection at all. And you might not even care. And that just tells you it's not your thing. But when you're feeling strongly and you're not you're not you're afraid to be sure what you want, then you can at least play with the idea of I think I know. I think this is the right path. I think this is gonna work out. And you just keep moving, you know, taking steps um, or thinking positively and until you start to see those signs those synchronicities happen more frequently that gives you the, the courage or the strength rather to say, I know this is going to work out for me. So this is sort of a transitional um, alignment that you need to work on in this month. Because that work, that practice is going to help you to feel like you're in a regal carriage and with this power horse of energy pulling you through. All right, let's take a look at the Oracle um, for the Archangel Oracle card. All right, so we have Archangel Raguel. And Archangel Raguel's message says, be fair in all situations, resolve your conflicts. So this might be an opportunity for you to work out something within yourself, with your inner conflicts, um, but also be aware of, you know, um, not putting, be aware of how you perceive situations as well because your perception is what makes the, which is, is unfair to you, best way to say it. Oftentimes, the way that we see ourselves 
undermines what we can see for ourselves. Let me see if I can say that again, because it kind of just came out without me barely hearing it. Mm, I think I forgot it. But I think I said the way we see ourselves ends up affecting what we are able to see for ourselves. And I see the angel number 855. So the angels are telling you basically, yeah, you've been getting in your own way and it's been very unfair, but you're being unfair to yourself to try to not try to, to heal that, to reconcile that, to, to um, disrupt that pattern. So 855 says huge increases in your financial flow are occurring right now. And some of you could be saying, boy, I'm looking for it. And it goes back to what they just said to, to us. The way you see yourself really impairs the way that you are able to see what's possible for yourself. I'm going to have to go listen to that. It's hard to me. To, when it came through, I barely heard it. <laughs> it came through the first time. And it's probably because my ego is also struggling with that. Um, but it got out. And so definitely going to go back and listen to that. So be aware of this. And when you can just even embrace this, you can see what fair really is all about. That first of all, like the what I've been saying, all things are possible. Well, all situations are fair, universally, spiritually, by the spiritual laws I'm talking about. Because it's that beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. It's our perceptions, how we see ourselves, that and then you know, impacts the way that we can see what's possible for us. If we don't, if we're not being kind to ourselves, that's unfair. And then we're going to end up creating situations or seeing situations that are unfair for us. But it's the way we're seeing is going to start to create situations and circumstances that are not fair and we can heal that within ourselves so work with archangel raguel to help you to release those unkind feelings and thoughts maybe to help you to um you can call upon him to kind of come in and hold a situation that has really impacted you. And here is the, the, this um, phoenix that's kind of firebird, and it makes me think of the, the fire dragons. And you can call them in as an exercise to think of a situation, maybe it impacted you as a child or at any point, and ask them to sort of burn away in their flames, a transmutation, the impact of that memory or that situation in order to release, release you, relieve you, and help you to surrender the, the impact which is directly in, in conflict with your perception of yourself and the unfairness of what that's doing to you and the, the patterning that it's creating within you. So you have an opportunity to really heal. And this is the traditional death card. There are certain things that we, we have to die unto in order to be reborn into something that we truly know we deserve. Even if we can't believe it, because of the way we're suffering within our hearts. So really pay attention. Remember, this month is a, a soulful month. 
that's where they want us to really um, focus. Here we have the six of earth. And I get a feeling that the angels are asking you to be more receptive to love, to be a, a way to work with this in an easier way after you with the, working with that spiritual tool is to really be receptive and think of of not only just receiving love but giving love so the idea here is sharing get excited or enthusiastic about sharing in general like being in a friendship or relationship where you get to share the qualities of kindness with one another and love and support, you know, really appreciate that. Appreciate the sharing that you get to do when you put your, when you put your, your gifts and talents out there. That it's not just about making them happy and, and hoping to get approval, but it's also about that joy and the happiness they give back to you when you see just how much they are able to receive, what, what it really offers them, and in turn, what it offers you. So see yourself as share and, and always in circumstances and relationships about this component of sharing. Even with yourself, they, that healing on a deep level is to be aware that you're not just doing, but you're sharing. You're taking partaking in something that's mutual, mutually beneficial when you offer your talents or gifts, that you get also compensated for it and that it's mutually beneficial, but it's not just the compensation. It's also that you know that you put out something that's honest and authentic and that's incredibly valuable. And the value that you receive monetarily and spiritually equate to the same on both sides of that scale. They're the same on both sides of that scale, although their their conditions are, I guess if that's the right best word, are are coming from a different or they're they're coming from a different perspective. You know, giver and receiver, but they're equal but they're different at the same time. So just, just be open to this kind of healing and working with that in this month. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month of March. God bless.